Oh my god, clean your lens. Holy shit, what's wrong with you? You never clean your gear. Oh, you don't take care of your gear. Oh, this kid, this white boy with a really expensive camera never takes care of his gear. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, the privilege! Oh, oh, the privilege! Hey, everybody, how's it going? Garden Sound here with Lila the Bird. And today we're gonna be taking a look at Darko, which is a cool musician that I discovered on Bandcamp a while back, actually through a friend of mine named Grimble. So thanks for that, buddy. This guy is dope. Released a couple of records on Adult Swim. I didn't know they had a record label, but apparently they do. So we're gonna be taking a look at that style today, going over how to make that and what exactly, what is Darko? What is this style? It's relatively new, in my opinion. So if you're not familiar with what this is, you need to go look it up. I don't know what to call it, so I'm not gonna try because I don't want to start a flame war in the comments section arguing over subgenres. One of the dumbest conversations that ever happens in music is what to call something. Who cares? Why does that matter? I, you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't matter what the style of music is. Oh, it's gonna be one of those days. End it, Lila. It's gonna be one of those days. Announcements at the very end of the video for my subscribers, so stick around. I don't like to start the video with announcements because then people are always like, well, oh, you take too long to get into the video. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna format my video this way. A formal overview of the track, explanations of individual details, and then critical plugins. Start to use this format for a bit. I think it's gonna be more helpful because I'm not gonna actually write the song out in front of you. <sighs> this is more of a review of a style. Style review. That's kind of interesting. Maybe we'll call it that. I don't know. All right, so here is the Darko track that I've been working on. If you didn't catch my live stream on Sunday, this was the track I was working on. It's grown a bit since then and become a little bit more formed out. Basically, ignore any track that's in white. The way my production flow works, it's kind of destructive. What I do is I create something in MIDI and then I almost immediately bounce it out to audio. I chose to make this a Gurren Lagann track because I love that anime and I've always wanted to do one and this seemed appropriate. The Darko and virtual self style right, that this is, and I'm gonna be doing another video on virtual self pretty soon. Oh, spoilers, shit. The virtual self style is heavily Japanese influenced, like, um, you know, uh, like Eurobeat stuff, you know, like the, like the stuff you'd hear on Initial D or Inertia D. So all that really happy, hardcore Eurobeat type of stuff, like that's what you're gonna hear in this song and in this style in terms of form, all right? I'm gonna put some handy dandy stuff up on the screen so you can see how the form works here. We've got four main sections. We've got introduction, drop, introduction slash breakdown, right? I'm just gonna call this a breakdown for now. A breakdown and then another drop, um, and then outro, or just a short um, uh, epilogue. You'll notice that the longest section in this is the introduction. Uh, so we're gonna start there. Typically what happens with this type of piece, these type of pieces, compositionally, you have a longer introduction because the amount of energy that you have to build up to is extreme. This is really gonna be highlighted and really gonna, I'm really gonna harp a lot on excitement and energy because this style is all about the use of composition and form to really excite the audience and to really kind of play with people's psyche and mentalities. So I'm gonna play back a bit of this beat for you here. Buzzkill. Sorry, I had to do that to you. But that's my point. You see how excited you are? I, I hope. If you're not excited right now, I've failed. But the goal here is to excite you and to get you going. And there's a lot of things happening that are that are working toward that goal. And the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the drums bus. Because I think the drums are absolutely integral to this style. All 
right, so what was going on there? We have a filter sweep happening. Now what this does is it breaks up the monotony of these drum sounds, because on their own, they're actually not that exciting. In fact, they're pretty peaky. And I've pulled these from happy hardcore or hardcore music, okay? Hard style. Some of my favorite hard style artists are gonna be show tech. Um, some of Infected Mushroom's early material. I mean, hard style is that typical sort of, and that might be getting to Psytrance. And again, here we go, talking about subgenres. Who cares, right? It's, it's spelled this way. Look on the screen right here. Hard style. There you go. Cool. Another of these exciting elements in this buildup is this particular, I'm calling it the ARP thing. Uh, and I'm, I don't know why I'm calling it an ARP. It's not an ARP. Um, it's, it doesn't even sound like the synthesizer. ARP. What? Why did I call it? Anyway, listen to this. Why is that exciting? It's exciting because it is a repetitious element. It is a repetitious motif. There's a word for you. There's a composition word for you. And it gets faster as it progresses. It starts with bump, 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 and it gets faster. The phrase length gets shorter. See, it's Tchaikovsky, it's composition. This is basic composition. It's classical music used in the context of electronic music. Music theory and music history are important, nerds. Mouse chords. This is pretty simple and self-explanatory, but I wanna go ahead and put this in here just so you can hear what this sounds like. So there's a bit of a stutter effect going on in there. Uh, there's also a filter sweep, just like we have with the drums. Um, I'm turning up the release on the synthesizer's amp envelope as the sound goes through, so you hear more and more and more of the sound at a time. So this is my hover pad. Introduction stuff, let's get into this down here. This is the soft start that we hear when we start this piece off, coupled with a couple of other lines to add texture. See how I'm, I double my textures. That is a bounce of several different audio tracks that are coming from two serum MIDI lines. Um, now again, these tracks are white, which means they're all deactivated, and these are my source material for creating this. So basically, I tend to write music in terms of compositing. There are two more things that are adding excitement to the introduction, okay? This, Gurren Lagann samples, which if you're not familiar with Gurren Lagann, it's one of the best animes of all time. It is a classic. It's only 24 episodes, it's two seasons long. I think it's on Netflix right now. You owe it to yourself to just go binge it. But basically it, it revolves around giant robots and overcoming your own fears. So there's this line that's iconic from the series where, it, where the mentor says to the protege, don't believe in yourself, believe in the me that believes in you. So don't believe in yourself, believe in the faith that I have in you. So I'm gonna play these effects and the samples from Gurren Lagann at the same time so you can hear what I've done. It's more like a movie trailer. Don't believe in yourself, believe in me. So there you go, that's what makes up the introduction. All right, now let's talk about this drop. Let's listen to this drop a little bit. I'm gonna start a little bit into the introduction just so you can get an idea of where we are and we'll listen to a little bit of the drop. Let's talk about what's going on in here because it's dense. And by dense, I mean there aren't very many lines, but the wall of sound that comes out of my DAW here is impressive. Uh, there's no dynamic range in it, which is gonna surprise some people who know me. I know, I understand, I'm being hypocritical. I know there's no dynamic range, give me a break. But that, that, that is this style. If I was doing, a, um, if I was doing a, a guide on Carpenter Brute, there would also be no dynamic range in my music because there is no dynamic range in Carpenter Brute. This is loosely modeled after Terra Gang by Darko, which is on his band camp if you wanna listen to it. Uh. What's going on right here in this drop? A couple things. We've got a sub, okay? 
We've got a sidechain click or a, just a noise that is uh, cutting off the other tracks where I want them to be sidechained, but not to the kick. Um, we've got a snare. This is a hard style snare. This is uh, cymbals. These are both from Vengeance. The ARP thing ass blasted. And then the mouse cord's really choppy, which we'll get into that in a second too. Let's talk about this ARP thing ass blasted and where it came from and why we're calling it that. So here's the ARP thing. Okay, I'll play it by itself. We've got bump but up but up but up but up but up but up but up. This isn't swung. This is just a rhythmic trick. I took that and bounced it down to audio to get this. Then I put a plugin on it called the Ass Blaster. It is a limiter that has a shit ton of gain, so it's already removing all the dynamic range on the from the get go. A ping pong delay, a six second reverb turned down a bit, a compressor to duck everything, and then another limiter with the gain turned all the way up. Again, to remove all dynamic range from the sound. And then what you're doing is putting that already distorted, way limited, way crushed signal, all right, into its own channel here and compressing it again with a side chain. And that sounds like this. Very noisy, very compressed, very distorted. It's intentional. That is the noise we're going for here. That is the characteristic noise of this type of music. You hear it in virtual self's music. It's just that really noisy, almost out of control, but not quite out of control noise. You want to get to the edge of what can be tolerated and then make something cool out of that. Because again, it's all about energy. It's all about excitement. It's, it's how much energy can we extract from this via crushing, limiting, et cetera, et cetera, without killing people's ears and turning people off. Metal is the same way. Actually, this has a lot of similarities to metal. A choppy mouse thing is pretty neat. Uh, the mouse cords from earlier uses source material um, with a uh, hyperbolic uh, curve on the transposition modulator um, and a filter sweep. So you put all that together, it sounds like this. And it's pretty neat. Now combine that with a really peaked out and limited solo. Now that's that might make sense out of why the side chain is different and at a different rhythm than the kicks and the ducking and everything has to flow because this is so distorted that you need some sort of reference point for where the beat is happening, which is why this is ducked differently than the kick because you're not going to get any indication of where you are in the song from the kick because oh my god, I don't think I've ever chopped up a sub and a kick line this much in any music and I've written a shit ton of hip hop. There are two distinct styles that Darko uses. One is hard style, um, which sounds a lot like this. So this is going to be what I would call hard style, where it's four on the floor, you know, bow, 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 bow. So that's hard style. That's the that that's one of the styles he's using. The other is trap, and it's you know highly distorted, highly affected, highly edited trap music. Listen to the difference between the two because he marries them really well. Have your rhythms fluctuate between hard style and trap. I'd say use more trap during the drop than during the buildup and more hard style during the buildup than in the drop. All right, so essential plugins. Um, there are a couple that I used everywhere in this song. One is this uh, Ass Blaster strip, which, is, uh, which I've saved as an Ableton Live device that I have given away on my Discord. Go check that out. I've also got Bab Filter Saturn on lock on every single track in this piece. That being said, the driver behind the solo here um, is actually a plugin called Driver. Uh, it's a native instruments plugin, and this is amazing. All right, going back to the intro stuff, this is another essential plugin that I use on some things. Now, I use this particular plugin all the time. It's called Clean Cave. It's a series of stuff inside of Guitar Rig that makes makes out this rack, makes out this unique sound, um, really wide, kind of slightly distorted, um, but still a lot of integrity in the sound. Um, so yeah, that's another essential. So Guitar Rig. Um, Synthesizer-wise, 
I don't really have a preference. I used Massive sometimes, and I used Serum sometimes in this song, and I didn't really discriminate which one. It was whatever was close by. So guys, if you like this video, if you appreciate what I do here, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know if you like this new method of reviewing tracks. I kind of like it. It's better than my old style of creating the track as I'm talking. Um, this way I've created it beforehand and I can sort of give you a glimpse into how I did it. I've digested a bit of what I've done and I'm going to be doing some more production live streams going forward. I certainly hope this was helpful. It was not easy to do. I am not going to consider this project finished yet. However, comma, I am going to be uploading it in its current state to my Patreon account so people who support me on Patreon can pick it apart, see how it looks. If you want to pull this apart, support me on Patreon, grab the project file, it's yours. And again, uh, most of these plugins like the Ass Blaster I've given away on my Discord server, so join that. Links in the description down below. Here's some announcements for my subscribers. Uh, there are two videos that I'm gonna be doing. This one right here, Darko. I'm gonna be doing a style review on Virtual Self. I'm actually going to be doing a formalized, recomposed episode on Virtual Self, trying to recreate one of their songs. This is Porter Robinson's new project, and I love it. I'm totally addicted to it. So check that out if you haven't seen it yet, just so you're up to speed. There is, of course, Friday coffee time. Don't forget to watch that. I am sort of stuck at home right now because I have a really, really, really bad case of shingles, which is why I'm hunched over. You can look it up, but it's really gross. It's basically it's basically big, nasty red sores um, that make this shockwave of nerve pain. So I am just in, 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 I don't know how I'm doing this right now, but I'm in an indescribable amount of pain. Um, so... <laughs> A big shout out to my homies who have been helping me out at work at the restaurant and putting up with me being absent. Your efforts do not go unnoticed. Special shout out to my boy Malik for helping me out at the restaurant. His channel, if you'd like to watch some funny uh, gaming stuff, is in the description down below. It's the least I can do to pay him back. Other than that, man, it's just been a crazy couple of weeks. There's There's been a number of projects that I've had to drop and a number of projects that I've had to pick up. Um, Christmas is gonna be nuts. I don't think I'm gonna have coffee time next friday we will be skipping next friday for coffee time so it's this friday and then next friday we'll be skipping look forward to that virtual self video coming out next week take care <laughs>